Nancy Chartrand, the media relations specialist for PIO for the police department. I want to thank everyone for coming out this morning, especially considering the weather. Um, a brief ceremony, but a very important ceremony, not only for the individual seated here in front of me, but for the entire department. It's nice to see everybody here, all of our command staff, members of the Unified Government uh, representation. Thank you very much. Uh, we're also going to be broadcasting this to Facebook Live, so if you blink and it's over and you want to watch it and rewatch it, <laughs> you can go and it will be posted on Facebook or if you have family and friends that weren't able to join us here today, then you can um, pull up our Facebook page and we'll be able to see that. So, um, wanted to give everybody a little time to get settled. Uh, feel free when, uh, if you're here for one of those being promoted, if you want to stand up and take a picture, we're all family here, so feel free to do that. There's, we're not so formal that you can't, so just want to make sure that you know that. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'd like to ask everybody to please stand as I bring up Chaplain Jerry Altick, who will give our conversation. Let's pray. Lord God in heaven, we give you thanks for the men and women who serve in law enforcement. We ask that you protect them as they move toward danger, guard them, and keep them, Lord, as they fight the good fight and tear down the schemes of wicked men. Today, I ask a blessing on each of these officers before us as they take on new responsibilities and new roles. Lead them to be humble and eager to learn. Teach them that godly leadership is to serve, not to be served. And finally, Lord, I pray for the entirety of Casey KPD, from our newest recruits to our chief of police, Chief Oakman. I ask that you would encourage them and mend their hearts, empower them by your mighty right hand to have moral courage and to always do the right thing because it is the right thing, even if everyone else turns away. May our Casey KPD be a shining light of integrity, honesty, professionalism, and compassion. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I recognize to everybody, but I want to make sure that I take special recognition of all the families and loved ones and friends who are here because we understand that um, our officers couldn't do the work that they do, and they certainly couldn't rise to the level of a promotion without your support. So um, I think we as a group would like to thank you and give you a, a quick round of applause to all the family and friends who live with us here today. And the youngest supporters who are out there. We love it when, when they speak up and feel free to uh, interject any time you want. Um, <laughs> next person I'd like to introduce to you is our Chief of Police, Carl Oakman. Well, good uh, afternoon slash morning. Uh, thank you all um, for coming. Um, first thing, you, you may notice me every time I wear this jacket, I kind of so it's 20 years old, and I, I guess it's a good thing if I can still fit it, but when I first got it, it was pretty loose. Um, thank you all for coming out. Uh, friends and family, it's so important as you uh, follow the career of your loved one. You know how much uh, support uh, this job requires um, and, and just the amount of stress that's even from being a police officer to the police chief. Uh, the stress doesn't get any less as you go up in rank. Um, so just thank you all for your support and um, the hard work from those who are getting promoted today. Um, we just thank you for taking that challenge to continue to work uh, to make this one of the best uh, police departments in the Metro. So, thank you. Thank you, Chief. All right. As I said, this is a uh, simple ceremony. So, we are 
going to get started. I'm going to start with um, individuals who will be promoted to detective today. We'll have our commanders come up and join you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We're easy, so we All right. So, our first promotion today, Officer April Hagen. Officer Hagen began her career seven years ago this month when she entered the academy in January of 2017. Her entire time working patrol has been spent on staff midnights. Then in, two, in 2021, she was selected by Chief Oakman to fill the position of wellness officer, where she has also been responsible for implementing a mentorship program for the academy. During her time with the department, Officer Hagen has also earned two master's degrees, one in criminal justice and one in forensic investigations, which I think is probably going to come in handy in your next role, right? Additionally, she has been a member of the peer support team since 2018. Officer Hagen made a point of letting me know that it's always been her dream to become a detective. So please help me in congratulating her today as she recognizes that dream and is promoted to the room of detectives. Our next officer being promoted is Officer John Stein. Police Academy in October of 2014. He has been a West End officer for the majority of his time in parole. Patrol, <laughs> sorry, not parole. That's not right. right. Wow, we kind of slipped us up. All right. Where he has served as the shift steward um, for West Patrol for the past few years. Um, additionally, he has served as a field training officer for the past five years. He has received numerous letters of appreciation for his skill in taking late lists, many of which has allowed CSI to place persons of interest at crime scenes. Additionally, Officer Steinick received recognition for the department in 2018 for his role in reducing crime along the State Avenue corridor. As he enters his next level of service with the police department. Please help me congratulate Officer Steinbeck as he is promoted to detective today. <laughs> the following officers will be promoted to the rank of captain. D detective Michael Eckel. He spent about five and a half years in patrol, where he became a field training officer in 2015. Later that year, he shifted gears, moving into the Special Operations Unit. In 2016, he was promoted to detective. During his time in the Bureau, he has worked in violent crimes and is a member of the Crisis Negotiation Team. In 2014, he received the Award of Valor from the KC Metro Chiefs and Sheriffs Association. The following year, he earned the Gold Award from the Kansas Association of Chiefs of Police and the Award for Meritorious Service from KCKPD. And this fall, he also received the KC Metro Chiefs and Sheriffs Association Bronze Award. Today, we congratulate Detective Echo as he is promoted to the rank of captain. to East Patrol Shift 1. Detective Joshua Cromwell. <laughs> Detective Cromwell entered the KCK Police Academy in the fall of 2005. During his time in patrol, he served as a training officer until 2018 when he was promoted to detective. While in the Bureau, he has served a variety of roles, including night response, property patterns, gang task force, and child abuse. Through his nearly 19 years 
with the Department, Detective Cromwell, has received a number of certificates of commendation, letters of appreciation, and the ACK PD Meritorious Service Award. Please join me in congratulating Detective Cromwell as he is promoted to the rank of captain. He began and spent most of his patrol career in Midtown, which we now know as East Patrol. In 2015, he was promoted to the rank of Sergeant and also was named as Patrol Training Officer. In 2017, he was promoted to Captain. The following year, he was transferred to Internal Affairs and in 2020 to East and that South Patrols Shift 2. Double, double, double duty in that role. In 2022, Captain Grisella moved to community policing where he also commanded the traffic unit. And finally, last year, at this time, last January, he was transferred to operations where he has since served as the executive officer. He has received numerous letters of commendation for a variety of actions, from showing compassion during a welfare check to taking an armed violent suspect into custody. Additionally, Captain Garcella has earned the KCKPD Valor Award in 2016, the Gold Award also in 2016 from the Metro Chiefs and Sheriffs Association, and the Meritorious, and excuse me, the Award of Meritorious Service from the KC Metro Chiefs and Sheriffs Association this fall. Please join me in congratulating Captain Garcella as he is promoted to the rank of Major. And Major Grisella, one of my favorite case staters, always have to go. And will be assigned to, to West Patrol. Let's give everybody again a big round of applause. Thank you. Again, we want to thank everybody for coming today, taking time out of your schedule. We have maybe you know, have a we're hitting that lunch hour, maybe you have an opportunity to go and celebrate before you get back to your new desks <laughs> to start your new duties. Um, but before we disperse today, I'd like to again ask our chaplain, Altic, to come forward. With promotion comes an increased responsibility to be a role model to others to set an example to demonstrate what a KCKPD officer can and should be. Certainly, it's not difficult to cut out those foolishness that comes with our view. But also, please do not forget to add something to your repertoire. Along with strength and confidence, don't forget to demonstrate goodness. Remember the Apostle Paul's wise words in Philippians 4, verses 8 and 9. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or even seen with me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Please feel free to remain, take pictures, um, have a safe drive home. Be careful, the sidewalks are very slick. If you didn't notice that coming in, please be careful, take care, and stay safe.